so why do we need analytics we have already spoken about this but let's reiterate as discussed analytics helps us to understand what works for us and what doesn't work for us right so in a sense a lot of time when we are doing a marketing campaign when we are doing sales when we are doing hiring in an organization when we are doing operational things we have a lot of data which gets collected over time but in a sense if you don't look back at that data or maybe we are looking at the data we are analyzing we are getting insights also but as data becomes heavier or you can say larger and becomes difficult to interpret with excel sheets when the dimensionality of the data increases it becomes very difficult so if 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 as a sales head if as the marketing head i know very well that to do sales or marketing or let's talk specifically about sales if i have to do two sales in a day i would need at least 50 leads because not all of my leads are going to be converted into sales to get 50 leads i might have to hit so many people via different kind of marketing channels this could be email marketing this could be some uh, digital marketing this could be maybe on site marketing using some kind of banners this could be some event organization this could be some kind of specifically in education industry it could also be some kind of blog writing and all those things so obviously what happens is that as the sales head i need a lot of leads so that i can convert these leads into sales right now as your channels of marketing increases as your channels of sales increases it becomes difficult to understand what is working for you and what is not working for you so you have to collect some data you have to start doing a strategy you have to see in the sales funnel how is this converting into sales so if i am spending 1 dollar and as against that i am getting a revenue of 50 cents or to be make it very sensible if i am spending 100 rupees and i am getting sales worth 10 rupees against that maybe it's not making economic sense so which lead is better for me what is the cost of acquisition of a customer all of this can be analyzed and understood by analytics and also automated by analytics right so we would typically need analytics for that it helps us to understand target create a product based on the requirement of the end customer let's look at some of the applications of analytics we have briefly spoken about this and obviously we will keep on talking about this as we go ahead in the session but let's take a few examples so how do we manage customers right so let's talk about a bank right so a bank acquires a client then you have a unique client id by which the client is known inside the database to manage the relationship with this customer you have to keep on sending some messages some emails right say the the client has a birthday on a specific date then an automated email has to be sent right uh if the client has escalated an issue which he has faced when he was doing a transaction on the internet or on the atm or any other transaction and he has reached out to the customer service right so application of analytics has to be done to understand how the customer is sitting in your funnel will he be a happy customer is he going to be a customer who is non reactive is he going to be a customer who is going to tell you that there is a friend of his who would be interested in taking your services basically how you manage your customer is going to funnel your sales in future so for example the cost of acquisition of a client is very high as compared to the cost of retention if you are not able to retain your clients and you keep on acquiring new clients your margins are lower so obviously analytics will help you in managing your relationship with your clients we see a lot of application of analytics in the financial and marketing activities right right from analyzing the risk associated with mortgage given to an individual by a bank to understanding whether a client will actually subscribe to a product of yours in marketing this all falls under the ambit of analytics right and we have a lot of application these days which typically look at all these aspects whether a product when i'm talking about logistics or supply chain will reach from a point a to a point b 
which route should be taken uh, which product should be bundled together in a package so if it's a container services which has been done from a point C to a point D right so which of these products should be bundled together so that you optimize on the whole package these all things come under the ambit of analytics if I'm looking at a human resource application I would say whether an employee will resign in the next three months this decision is taken today basis analytics who should be given an appraisal whether the best employee should be given the appraisal or the second in line who we feel would be more sticky with the current job and would not resign in the next two or three months once he is given appraisal which one should you choose for doing an appraisal all these things today are done using application of analytics which resource has to be picked up for a specific job what will be his performance all of this is today measured using analytics what is the pricing of a product look at an airline the price is not constant uh, look at any other product which is sold sold using e-commerce the price keeps on changing because the demand is fluctuating and pricing and demand are elastic in nature how do we play with this data how do we manipulate this data how do we apply algorithms to basically do decisions regarding to pricing which typically comes under the ambit of dynamic pricing how does uh, an app app based service so for example how does Trivago do a decision how how does a, a hotel app decide what should be the pricing of a product so a product wherein if it is not consumed in the given time period you cannot use that product should, should I let that product out in the market at the lowest price or should I keep that inventory and burn that inventory is a decision which is today taken with algorithms how would the strategies in a sports team be done which player is to be used for against a specific team when will injury occur right in fact even if you look at some of these very basic things which has not come up today but maybe 10 years back only so when you are watching an old Indian uh, World Cup match wherein you were seeing something like an Hawkeye application which is suggesting that okay the umpire is saying that it's out but it is giving you three possibilities that the ball could have gone on the left side or could have hit the stumps in between right or could have gone on the left hand side right it would have missed the stump or it would have hit the stump had the batsman not blocked it with his leg so should it be a leg by or should it be an LBW right these decisions are taken by a software today which is called as Hawkeye not that it has come up to date is old but it needs to collect a lot of data related to wind speed the pitch condition the balling action a lot of lot of variables and that makes it a product today right so all of these are application of analytics